So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be discussing about props in React, what, what props are and how they actually work under the hood as well. So we have seen in the last few videos that we can pretty much go ahead and create a very simple React application using sort of JSX that is equivalent of HTML and JavaScript and basically go ahead and write something like this and it will reflect in our react app like that right now what happens is we can go ahead and create some sort of component which is like um, create component right and now what happens is whenever I try to call this create component myself I can just pass in the name for example I want to create mehul and I want to get a message back on the screen which says hello mehul or hey mehul or whatever it is right so what i'm doing is i'm calling i'm using this component which is my react component and i'm passing this a prop a prop is a property you can think of of that particular component so you know i just need to pass down hello and now i need to get this particular name how do i get this particular name variable out well, you see that in React, what happens is whenever you call a particular component, React would pass all the props because there could be obviously more than one prop. I could have x equal to 1, y equal to 2, and you know, so on and so forth. So React would create an object out of all of these props and would pass this as props object. So if you console.log props here, you're going to see that we get an actual object hit save and let's just go ahead and open the console as well so that we are able to see uh, what we have so okay we have some sort of error okay obviously because we need to access the name like that because it's in the props object right so here you can see that we get an object as the console logged and we have only one property on it that is the name right so if I pass in you know x equal to 2 I'm going to get x equal to 2 as a property as well. And notice that I passed x as a string for 2. So that is how it is evaluated. You can also pass expressions, actual JavaScript code inside props. But for that, you need to make use of JSX expressions. So you make use of curly braces like this. And now you can pass in pretty much any JSX expression you want to. So after I changed it to JSX expression and passed in 2 as a regular number, you see that we get x as 2. And now this time 2 is actually a regular number, right? I can pass in an array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. So we discussed how JSX expressions works, right? So you can pretty much pass in anything you want to pass in as a functional argument. That would work, right? So you can obviously pass in a string here as well, but we can just get rid of uh, JSX expressions altogether if you just want to pass a simple string, right? Because it's, it's useless. You can pass a string without actually making use of a JSX expression as well. So anyway, coming back to the point, we have our props here. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much how you're going to work with props in React, right? But what I wanted to show you, or let me say it like this. What I want you guys to see is how this JSX is transpiled under the hood. So we're going to go ahead and create... Uh, this is basically Babel. So Babel is the tool which is, um, you know, is the first tool which gets access to your files and transpiles your JSX into uh, regular React code. So I'm going to create an element. I'm going to say this is h1, hello world, right? And you see that it transpiles it into react.createElement h1 null and hello world what is this null this is the place where your props would go so you see that if i pass in my prop one as something something you're gonna see we get an object which says prop one is something right and if i have like prop two is a uh, two plus two a jsx expression you see that babel does nothing it does not eval this code or do anything like that it will just pretty much take whatever it is inside the JSX expression and place it inside the prop to key of the object of props. And the third one is, of course, the children of the 
of the element right so it does not need to be string it could be pretty much anything so if you do something like this it would create you know nested react elements right so the third argument is the children of that particular element so anyway this is how basically props work in react and yeah that's that's basically what you need to know at this stage about props so that's all for this video if you liked it do not forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one